Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. War rages on in our sector of the universe because the cruddy cruddy Federation leaders declared a stupid, stupid war. Um, no. I want to read what it said about the Federation. My gizzard rumbles with joy at the sight of your exotic visage. You should know that the Quill culture is quite popular in many circles in Kraton. Together for now would be a lesser Federation without its incandescent dragons to shine the way. Uh, okay. All right. I wonder if they're building a Federation fleet. Uh, fleet upgraded. Oh, right. So we were upgrading our, our science ship with a few little defenses by the end of it because we're going to be sending them to the front over here to participate in scanning all this debris once we have cleared things out. You construction ship, go and upgrade as well. A lot of faster engines. I mean, it doesn't help them warp travel any faster because we haven't unlocked that. Or rather, wormhole faster. Actually, I don't think that we ever get upgraded wormhole generators. Not, not for the ships themselves. I think it's empire-wide upgrades that we get, which is quite interesting. All right, let's merge up this fleet, which has an admiral and everything. I'm going to make sure to reassign it, just in case. See? Last time... You remember? I was clicking on the, the admiral, and it would say available here. Now it says busy commanding. Something is definitely still weird with these guys, but now it seems to imply very much that they're commanding this. Okay. So now we're coming in, we've got like 50% more strength than last time, and in particular we shouldn't be countered uh, by the armor-piercing weapons that we experienced last time we were in Adenir. Now one of the things will be, of course, have they built a bigger fleet? Have they changed their technology? I don't know. We'll have to find out once we're there. No other way to find out but to invade. Fleet's ready to warp. And so what do they got? So they still only have the 1k over here. Although, actually, it's almost 2k now. It's definitely much stronger than before. You are still packing plasma throwers, which ignore armor and the nuclear missiles. So you still have rank 1 weapons. Although plasma throwers are dis uh, deceptive, they're a lot stronger than your average rank 1 weapon. Um, because they're, they're on a different track. They're just the first version of the plasma throwers themselves. 100% armor penetration. We do have a little bit of armor, not that much. They actually have level 1 shields. And a little bit of armor. So yeah, that's one of the things too. We are packing lasers which ignore 50% armor, but we don't have any shield ignoring stuff. Um, so plasma throwers would not have helped against these guys. If we had grabbed the disruptors, that would actually be pretty good. But as is, I don't know. I'm going to start by spending time uh, blowing up some of the um, military outposts here, the mining outposts. I'm still hoping that some of my allies show up. But yeah, so they effectively have 2400 combat strength here versus my 3600. But I should all around have better technology. I have better shields than they do. Now, this armor here still won't do anything for us, but that's just there as a filler, so that's okay. I think we have better thrusters than last time. I'm not sure what our evasion chance was last time and how it compares. We do have better guns, that's for sure. Our damage output should be quite a bit higher. So, any chance... No, you guys are literally... Well, that's not your big fleet. Where the hell is your fleet? Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Oh, construction ship upgrade just completed. So I don't know. Just just start building some stuff. Kinda sort of wherever. Situation log updated. We've got oh, it's a rank one admiral. That's unfortunate. Oh, but the other thing, too, is this time we have an Admiral with 20% fire rate, as opposed to one that just lowers maintenance cost. Alright, I think we go after these guys, before they build any more ships from their home world. Oh god, please work this time. <laughs> they still have cruisers. I think they have a higher... Uh, they have two different types of destroyers. They're both called Mongath, but they're probably on different upgrade levels. I think one of them had a different engine, didn't it? There it is. So they do have access to level 2 engines, but they haven't really put them into play. So once the space area is clear, the idea is we're going to send in our science ships to pick up all the debris. Okay. I am not evading anything, but I have a 100% hit ratio. How am I not evading anything? 
We are obliterating Corvettes very quickly. That's one of the things. They have a lot of tiny Corvettes. Look at all the purple beams. They look awesome. Shields are holding a lot better against the Plasma Throwers. We haven't lost anything yet. But look, look at the relative strength here. Okay, because it's comparing a hull point. The difference is we haven't lost any hull point whatsoever. And they are losing hull point. Now when we destroy a ship, does the hull point total change? We're about to, about to lose a Corvette. And the answer is yes, it is. I think we've got this. Now we are on the verge of losing our first destroyer. As far as I can tell. I mean, there might have been something else on the list. But no. I gotta think this is going to fall in our favor here. Yeah, the, the bar is shifting quite quickly. Kill the destroyer. I mean, we're not going to come out of this unscathed. Finally, our allies decide, hey, maybe it's a good idea to actually join in here at the same time. You think? Maybe? Are we actually counting as a defender in this? Wait, I'm confused. Situation updated. Whatever. Situation Crushed. Updated. Crushed. That's what happened. Engineer, what, what tech did we just get? I don't know, it went away. Like, do, maybe I dismissed it, but it's just me. It probably went away, and I did because I didn't click on it, so I don't know what we got. Mining station damp. What? Oh, this is new. Increases the damage output of mining stations. But mining stations don't really do much in the way of damage, so what's an extra 10% gonna do? Go for level 4 armor, which is quite good. Uh, next level of engineering facility for even more harder sciencing is pretty nice. It, it's kind of dumb to me that there's not a generic science station that just gives you plus 3. I guess what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to research the physics one and upgrade some of our science places to physics research so that we can try to even out our research a bit. I don't know if I need, if I care about getting the next level armor right now. Level 3 is pretty good. I think we're going to pick up the uh, Batharian refining here. There's a lot of energy you can get from Batharian power plants, assuming we've got access to it. We've got a lot of space. And it's a pretty cheap tech, which will, you know, flip the, the deck around, reshuffle the deck. And that's going to be nice to see. I think we might have not engaged the uh, spaceport last time, too. So that would have been a really nice way to split up the battle. Situation log updated. All right. So I'm going to put the fleet on aggressive. I mean, I'm going to tell it. Your job is to be around orbit here, but what it's going to do, it's going to get there, and then it's going to go out and hunt out stuff. It's going to hunt out all the mining stations. And my science ships, I'm going to tell them to come in here and start researching this debris, because there shouldn't be any more threats. Yeah, come on. How come you can't? There's probably stuff being annoying. Alright, just move into the system, then we'll deal with you in a moment. So 41% war score from that battle. <clears throat> or 35 from that battle, 7 from the next one. There we go. So I'm hoping peace returns to the galaxy soon, but not after I've uh, investigated this debris. You are done upgrading Mr. Construction Ship, so we will just find some random system that we can... Are we pin Oh, no, we're not pinned in here. That's my dudes. Um, We don't have the resources for a forward station, so that's no good. Tier's been upgraded. All right, science me a science. I could split my flit in two to go and do this cleanup. Oh, that's actually an enemy, an actual enemy destroyer. So they're doing the reinforcement thing, which is hopefully something that'll be fixed. Conditional effects joined. Oh, because we're winning an offensive war. Our military production is going to slow down. That's okay. We're not planning any military production. Rivalries and things kicking in. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah, it's not really a hostile fleet. It's just a mining base. Y'all can relax. Oh, that might generate more debris. There you go. Science ship is sciencing. The second science ship, you should go here. How can you can't do this debris? Engaged. Do you not have a scientist? That's why. God damn it. How are you available? You're a spark of genius. What the f Listen. You be there. You be there. Now do this. There we go. I would like it if it was red. 
if it still showed research project but was red and then you moused over it and says you can't do it because you don't have a scientist fleet engaged. Hostile fleet detected. transport fleet oh yeah that's okay situation log updated Captain Haskentar, the commanding officer from the Trumlamath, served with distinction during the recent engagement that took place on the Adnar system. Admiralty on Sudbury, recognizing the qualities of a promising flag officer, have decided to promote the captain to the rank of full admiral. Is that you? No. So we don't have a Haskemlar yet. This is Haskalas. So this, okay, this is just giving me a new admiral to choose from. Okay, well, that's cool. Although, it does act against my, my leader pool. Oh, you are... You are much, much, much better. So you only rank two, but you are definitely an upgrade. <clears throat> Situation log updated. Boom, like that. We may dismiss the other one, or not, if we need the extra spot. I think I'll just wait for now, because, I mean, we can't hire anyone anyway. So it's not a huge deal. So yeah, we're going to destroy everything in this system. Especially since we can't get it in the, the peace deal regardless, so I don't care. And mostly I want to keep my battle fleet in this system uh, to just protect my science ships while they go to work. And speaking of going to work, I guess we're going to hook up Hostile fleet all these mining outposts. I'm going to add more money, but that's okay. Okay, we have a lot of minerals. I need to be making a pass through my stuff. Upgrading all the things. We have some money as well to clear more blockers. Let me upgrade you. Clear you. So we'll have no more blockers left in the system. We have a lot of spots that are being worked basically by nothing. Um, oops. Spaceport wise. We can get the solar panel network. Excellent. That's the other thing I should be doing is a full pass. Get the solar panel networks installed everywhere. It's three extra credits. It's huge. And actually I have to do a pass through all of my sector planets as well. Arkesh. So it's F2 hotkey. There we go. I'll use that. And there. Also, have to see if anyone's generating a lot of science like actually Master India's. Oh, get a spaceport. Because we'll be able to afford spaceports everywhere. A little bit of token defense is nice. But the modules between the... Like, the, the solar panels means you don't really pay for the spaceport. And then you can build your orbital hydroponic farms. Like, here we'll need extra slots. That's the other thing that we'll need. Still have the minerals, so let's go for it. You are just starting off. You are just starting off. You are just starting off. You will need to be upgraded after. For some more spots. Same thing here. Alright, and that'll be our minerals. Okay. And we'll come back. Killing some random corvettes here. Science ships are going to grab this debris. I don't know if they've got anything we don't have. Yeah, well, that I think that was the debris from a mining station, so all we got is 10 physics research. This is going to be the much more interesting one. Now, they may have cleaned up some of the debris along the way, which is a little bit unfortunate. Actually, let me get you. Well, no, there's going to be a little fight here. I think all the enemy fleets are coming from over here, so I'm actually going to get my fleet to just park in this area. All right, science this stuff, that's going to be okay. Actually, I'm going to split my fleet in half. Tell the other fleet to go down here, and then I'll tell them to be aggressive. So it'll be a bit split up for a defense, because obviously 1k is going to be more than enough to deal with the piecemeal troops that come in here. Let's go up to fast speed. Don't care about rivalries. That's fine. Hostile fleet engaged. I suppose I, I maybe should uh, be blockading Incoming one of these. Actually, yeah, the second battle fleet. You are going to be on passive parked on Adnor. The first battle fleet, yeah, you can be on aggressive parked around Adnor. That's going to be okay. Hostile fleet detected. Debris analyzed. Sure, star charts are fine. Sure, star charts are fine. There we go. Research, free research towards those plasma throwers. 20% from that chunk. And the Hostile nuclear missiles will be nice. Really good. Okay, science ships. You. Research that one. And you are going to move up over here. And yeah, I really do have to keep this fleet. 
parked right on the verge of space here. So we grab people as soon as they happen to pop into the system. We'll have to re repair these guys at some point, but for now that's okay. Because they all seem to be coming from Theglin. So clearly, A, there's a hyperspace route, and B, they probably have a starbase there producing things. Could be from somewhere else in their empire, but... Construction complete. <laughs> that's such a crap little one research. That's probably... Oh, that's not mine. Right over here. Inactive building. Indeed, indeed. Should do that, especially if we're going to be upgrading it. Yeah, I'll have to unlock the, the physics one. I might want to hold off on the engineering facilities for now, then. I don't know, we still have a lot of resources. Well, obviously, we're going to want a science lab there. Why did... Oh, I think I clicked the wrong thing. That's okay. Let me just verify what we've got going on here. How are we food-wise? Okay, only one excess food. Do we have the hydroponics here? Yes, we do. Okay, so Sudbury is perfectly optimized. Maybe if we get a better hydroponics farm later on, we'll be able to clear one of these. But other than that, Sudbury is fine. Um, we could mess around with some of the minerals, which could be a thing. It could be a thing where we... Um... Oh, we need influence. Where we replace this spot with um, another energy or science thing since we do have the multiplier in space. But I think we're going to leave it as is. All right, Charlesy. We have money. Actually, we're making tons of cash right now. Wow. You're already trying to clear that. Excellent. And food-wise, you have that's the hydroponics? Yeah. So right now, you have 23 food, so that's going to be fine. That is with working some not-quite-done tiles. Oh, you could use a frontier clinic as well. So we are going to build a frontier clinic on something. I think I'm going to replace this hydroponics farm with the frontier clinic. I like that. That should be okay. And then I think what we're doing is we're building a bunch of science labs, although we don't have a population for it yet, so I guess I don't have to rush. But you over here, you get the basic one. And the basic one there. And here. You always have to build the basic one first. You can't go to the, the higher level ones anyway. So that'll keep you good and busy for a while and give us quite a bit more tech. You are full. So we're going to clear that so you can expand your population a bit more. Every tile has a building. Mm. I mean, I may as well do this. No sense in getting rid of this blocker yet. Probably makes sense to get a power plant up and running. This planet could use a mineral processing plant, because there's actually quite a few things, so the plus 10% boost would be nice. So one of these food tiles is going to be... We're going to want to build either a food or um, a mineral or an energy one over here for the adjacency bonus. Why don't I go ahead then and actually put the mineral processing plant there? Actually, how is this planet doing for food? It's only got 17 food worth, because uh, we're already feeding the 10 already, plus these 7. Actually, technically saying 19. Oh, because one of our people is a robot. Ah, that's true. So we produced 16, so we need to produce 3 more food to reach max population here. We could build a farm on one of these. Do we have a um, frontier thing? We must since it's not in the list. All right, get that going, because we will need the food. And then we'll end up mining these afterwards. Oh, there's a food spot here. Okay, never mind. Cancel. Because we'll end up building the farm there, and that'll be okay. All right, so we'll build a mineral processing plant there. That's going to be okay. I mean, no matter what, it's not. there's no tile to improve. We are clearing this blocker, right? Yeah. So I think it was down here was next. How are you doing food-wise, I wonder? Surplus of 10. 
Right, so that's a surplus. So yeah, 16. So we've, we're making way too much food as is. I mean, it's nice to work the extra food right now because we want the growth, but we won't need it later. Let's just clear that blocker and call that good enough. Okay, good. Some of those might end up getting put into sectors, so I may not have to micromanage quite as much as I have been, but so far it's okay. We are losing 0.1 influence right now. That's too bad, because we haven't finished integrating these dudes yet. Science ship under attack. Two Hostile more years remaining. Engaged. Debris analyzed. Research complete. Science ship was under attack. Not really, though. It was just too close to something. Okay, I think on aggressive, they're automatically going and blockading planets. So I'm going to put them on passive over here instead to guard that. More progress towards the plasma throwers. Oh, we finished the cold fusion. Very nice. We'll probably go and unlock this at some point because it's almost going to be done. But I'll wait for all the research to be done. Oh, our level 5 lasers! X-ray lasers! Holy crap! But I think what I want to do is unlock the physics labs. So we can bring our physics research a little bit more in line with everything else. It's relatively cheap. We'll see the X-ray lasers again. Six months to research that. Wow! Even given the fact... That's actually pretty impressive. Because it is our lowest and we're still powering through that quite a bit. I mean... Obviously, it's pretty early cheap tech, but still. It'd be nice if I could just eliminate this planet completely and then just colonize it. Construction <laughs> complete. <laughs> that sounds like a pacifist thing. Analyzed debris and got nothing from it. Well, that is kind of poop. We're at 70% war score. I can't believe we haven't pieced out yet. Fleet detected. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Yeah, that's that fleet there, which instantly completes. Research complete. Construction complete. Excellent. There we go. Now our influence is going positive again. I'm really excited about the Empire Capital Complex. That's even better upgrades. Look at that. Plus three adjacency bonuses now. Oh, and it actually produces one influence at a time. Nice. And then the advanced government forms unlocked. I think we still have to research them. 5% baseline habitability is beautiful. We don't need the biolab because our society research is pretty good. I don't care about the halt issue. I think I'm going to grab the adaptive bureaucracy because I think it might lead to other texts that are important for our government forms. Um, and it's cheap, so it'll cycle very, very quickly. Ten months. Now, government type. If I click here. Okay, there's there's a lot of government types. Um, okay, this is the materialist democracy. And this is the advanced form of materialist democracy. Okay, excellent. We are, we are this one. There we go. We are the moral democracy of plus 10 happiness. We can take ironic democracy of plus 20% happiness. It's going to cost us... How much influence to change? It was like 250? So we can't actually do it. But this is the advanced form of our current government. But we can switch to others if we so desire. This is a really good government type. We will definitely want to do that, but we need to save up the influence. Okay, cool. It's the first time uh, unlocking that. Construction queues, a little bit of research there. Hardly anything that matters. Random armadas, but you know, that's fine. Betharian refining. Do we have any? Yeah, we have two. We also have one unit of citrimine gas, as is. Armored torpedoes. So again, these are things that ignore shields completely. I mean, if you're going to go with torpedoes, you want your ships to be 100% torpedoes. Because of total shield ignorance. And that wouldn't be bad. Next level mining network, pretty good. Unlocks mass drivers. Aha! Droids. So droids are upgrades over our current robots. Um, their penalties for engineering, physics, society, and energy are, uh, production are all halved. Um, the habitability is exactly the same as before. They, they can they inhabit everywhere. They don't give a crap. Um, but So their penalties are halved. Their mineral boost, I think, starts at plus 10, so this is plus 15%. So they, they've got a 5% extra boost on minerals from our regular robots. So droids are better than robots. They are still not sentient. So it's the next level, the synths, that are sentient robots and require, they, they will eventually potentially want full rights. So this seems like a pretty safe upgrade for now. It's a rare technology. And I think 
if we complete this, it will automatically upgrade our robots to droids. So that seems like a pretty nice win. We don't use a ton of robots. Although, now that we're making a lot of money, we might want to invest in just having more robots. I'll wait until the droids are finished, just in case it doesn't upgrade. Ah, we got our influence from finishing our orbital mandate. Excellent. Yeah, we really want to save our influence now. Which, well, it's going to be hard to do until we finish our integration. But we want to save our influence for the new government form. So just a little token research. Hardly anything. There is a little bit more debris to pick up there. And there's going to be some more here, because we keep blowing stuff up. But I don't think we're getting anything new out of it. 75% war score. Like, seriously, dude. It's hard to tell if it's selected or not. There you go. So selected. Acceptance 1,000 for some reason. But I can't... Oh, surrender. What? Construction complete. Research complete. Because these are the people we're at war with. I know. I mean, we can't we can't send them anything, regardless. It's not something we're allowed to do. So I think that's why the button is a little bit funny there. Uh, physics lab done. Excellent. Ooh, hyperlane mapping. Ooh, okay, and map the stars. So hyperlane mapping shows us where the hyperlanes are which I think is something that we really want, especially since we are uh, building defensive structures, or we can build defensive structures. We haven't yet, but we're going to build them at hyperlane choke points, which is going to be great. Um, although the second level physics lab is going to be ex exceedingly nice. But this is not a rare tech, so it'll come back pretty frequently. Global research in initiative is interesting. It unlocks a building called the Research Institute, which gives us five of each type of research, plus an empire-wide 10% research speed boost does have a maintenance of 10 credits per month, which is huge, but that empire-wide research boost is too hard to ignore. The edict is interesting. You spend maintenance uh, or influence, and it gives you more survey speed, and a higher anomaly discovery chance, which is nice, but that part's probably a little too late for us, but I think we have to prioritize getting the Research Institute. It's just too good. Way too good. More plasma thrower attack. So, do we have any more debris in the system? It looks like no to me. So I think we can just tell these guys to just go home somewhere. Construction ships, well, you still have some things to do. At this point, it might be nice to just be able to automate the construction ships. There's still that one engineering research there. That's all hooked up. That's not in my territory. That's not either. One engineering research. I mean, I guess it's probably worth the money. It's just annoying me. So, let's go and do that. So, one credit for one research, I guess, is fine. Should I build a couple of colony ships right now? Arctic World. It's only 50%. It's not great. What's the size of this thing? Oh, it's huge! Annoying blockers that we can't clear right now. Although, once we colonize this... Then it'll start to be a thing. Oh, that's part of the reason the habitability is a little lower. But we do get more society research output. Which is interesting. Doesn't have much in the way of science tiles by itself. I don't know. I suppose we probably should just expand. Any other component I want? Not at this time. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, I could... I don't want to in, uh, information quarantine. Although there's something to be said about getting, doing this for a little while and in, encouraging everyone to come back into my baseline. Because again, if they have negative um, ethics divergence, they'll actually divert towards the government form, which might be handy. The other thing to do on some of these planets, it would be nice to get like a stat that gives you at a glance. See, these are just materialists. Xenophile, pacifist materialist, yeah. So, I mean, I guess it's fine. As long as they're materialists, I'm kind of sort of okay. The rest of the traits don't matter as much for our ground people. I don't think. Let's go and clear that. Still just robot. I think they'll auto-upgrade, but I'm going to hold off again because I'm just trying to make sure. Now, I assume there are no ground defenses here. Actually, there still are. Oh, now I can actually switch these dudes back to this. I don't need to camp that. We can go into a full bombardment over here. 
We are on the, the most minimal bombardment speed, I think, because we are pacifists. So all our people are 10% less happy because of this war, which never ends. And it actually won't end until these planets are freaking captured. Because they can't, that's right, they can't piece that out. I don't know, the AI would have to just surrender, but we can't actually demand these planets in the peace deal until they've been occupied. And I don't want to build the offensive force, but I might have to, because my AI partner is a derp. Research complete. God damn it. Construction complete. Someone's gotta get it done. Where's my robots? Assault army of robots. Hostile there you go. Nine of them should be plenty. All right, adapt the bureaucracy done, and I think that might unlock more stuff. That brings the next level, the living state. Well, we clearly don't need that for um, advanced government type, so I was wrong about that. Uh, leader pool, so we actually get to choose for more leaders, which is nice. And social welfare pro, wo wo b -b 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 welfare programs, fifteen percent more happiness. Oh, at a big cost of energy credits and minerals. I think what we really want. Oh, I do want the genetic modification, and we've got some re progress towards it already. I really need to pop more planets. I think. I don't know how colonizable arid planets are for me. Uh, do we have one around somewhere that I can verify? I mean, they'd be red right now. Doesn't have to be within my borders. Arid, 60%. That is very, very doable. I'm going to do that because we're not... I mean, if once we annex these guys... I guess I could sneak out here now. Actually, I should probably do that. My construction ships are busy. Doing what? Oh, right. Building some stations I don't even really care about right now. You, after you do that, you're going to go and build a wormhole station over here. And then we're going to start exploring this space. And then the other guy, well, god damn it. Look at this system. That's really far from home, though. The other guy, build a worm station over here. Okay. That'll have to do. All right, well, we're going to put a cut in here. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.